example, for memory, I create a memory palace in my mind. So I have a building that I go to and I open the front door and I have um, a table next to the front door that I can throw some keys into a pot that's there and there's a lamp there and there's also a stand sort of around upright Thing that you can put umbrellas in and anything like walking sticks in if you have walking sticks then you walk and on the right hand side walking in is a living room that's laid out with that's like, really old-fashioned um, like Victorian and it's got round tables it's got bookshelves each book has a different title I can pull any of the books off the shelf and flick through the books and read through the books there's a globe in there there's lots of other ornaments in there and it's a house that's actually an infinite house. So I can go to different levels of the house, different floors, and I can go down different corridors and I can find corridors for different years of my life. I can find corridors when I walk through a door, say through a door for 1999. I can walk through the door for 1999 and I'll be in a corridor for 1999. And off that corridor is 12 rooms. And I can then go down that corridor and find a room for of that year and take that go through one of those say January 1999 open the door for January and I'll walk in there and I can explore January and I can even find rooms off to other days or significant events so most of the rooms have for me at least have a structure to them have a pattern to them so it's easy for me to follow and explain but your own place you could create your own memory mansion, your own sort of memory palace, and have it however you like.